Hey everybody, this is D Hunter, bringing another action figure review. Today, we're going to look at the NECA, Back to the Future, Ultimate Marty McFly, and this is the audition version. So I picked this figure up from Walmart. I believe it to be a timed Walmart exclusive. That means that Walmart's going to have about a month to sell it exclusively, and then other retailers will get a chance. So let's check out the packaging here. As you can see, the front of the package resembles a flyer for Battle of the Bands. Battle of the Bands, auditions, We the People, Friday, October 25th, auditioning will be held until 5 p.m. in the school gymnasium. You must bring your own instrument. 3.30 p.m. after school, sign up in the library through October 24th by 3 p.m. At the top, Back to the Future, Ultimate Martin McFly, audition version. One side, you can see the DeLorean, the description of the figure. At the other side, pretty much the exact same thing. At the bottom, there is a barcode in case that helps anybody, as well as a bunch of credits. And then in the back, here's a figure posed up showing off all of his different accessories. And here's a bunch of other NECA Back to the Future figures you should track down. So this is one of NECA's ultimate figures. It's got the window box packaging on the inside flap. Here's Marty with the guitar. And then here's the figure with all of his accessories. So with no further ado, Let's open him up. All right, now that we got this figure out of the package, here he is with all his accessories laid out. He does come with two alternate hands, totaling four interchangeable hands, two different heads. He's got his guitar. He's got a Walkman with some headphones. He has a flyer, Save the Clock Tower, and he has a photo of his family where some of them have disappeared. But before we look at the accessories, let's talk about and check out the actual figure. So this is Marty McFly from the early part of the film when he had his band trying out for the Battle of the Bands and he was shot down pretty quick, simply saying he was too loud. He kept talking about how he couldn't handle that kind of rejection, reminded him of his father, and he got to see that firsthand later in the film. So this is Marty McFly. I'd say the Michael J. Fox likeness is pretty good on this guy. We've got a bunch of different Marty heads, and I'd say this is one of the better heads. Going further down, he's got his jean jacket. This plaid shirt, got the suspenders on in there. One thing I want to notice about my figure is that maroon or red shirt is really bled onto the neck. They totally botched that. He's got this transparent hand and that's a very cool accessory. What's weird is it's not appropriate for this figure. That did not happen at the beginning of the film. That happened at the end in the Enchantment Under the Sea dance. And he's wearing a completely different outfit. He's got blue jeans on. He's got tennis shoes. As you can see, NECA still doesn't have permission to add the Nike swoosh. Overall, he looks pretty good. He looks good for Marty McFly, and he looks good for a generic civilian as well. And then, here he is, broken down as far as he can go, with all of his removable parts detached. Now let's check out his accessories, and let's start off with his hands. Here he is with his first pair of hands, and these hands should be perfect for holding his guitar. His left hand is a gripping hand, and his right hand has the guitar pick. And here's his other pair of hands. Both these hands are outstretched and pretty relaxed. The most interesting hand here is his right hand, which is transparent, when he started to fade away from existence because his parents didn't hook up. Now the interesting thing about the accessory is it's not appropriate for this particular Marty. And it's not the first time they've given us mismatched accessories for the Back to the Future line. I do think it's pretty cool that if you stick with a line, You'll have all the different accessories. You can mix and match with the different versions of the figures to create your own personal Ultimate Marty McFly. I think that's going to pay off in the long run. I definitely would have liked to have seen another right hand without the guitar pick, and that's not halfway invisible. That way you could have him with sort of a normal set of hands. The way it is right now, you're stuck with either the transparent hand or the guitar pick. Not much for a good neutral pose. Now I personally have a whole bag of Back to the Future accessories. I've got an extra right gripping hand for Marty, so this one's going to be attached to this figure for the most part. Now let's look at his heads. The one on the left has a pretty normal expression, and the one on the right has a pretty surprise looking expression. Here he is with his first head, and like I said before, I think the Michael J. Fox likeness is very good here. And here's his second head. This one has the shocked or surprised expression. I think it's supposed to be him looking at his transparent hand disappearing, and he's in shock and scared. Then we've got his cassette player and headphones. 
This is the exact same accessory that came with, I believe, Radiation Suit Marty. As you can see at the bottom, it's got the cassette player, and then it has a soft wire connecting it all the way up to the headphones. And they're made of a pretty soft material, very bendable. And here he is, with the headphones on. Now let's look at the photo of his family. I believe Marty's the only one left in the photo, although it's so small it's hard to tell. In the film, it was Marty, his brother, and his sister, and some of them are fading away as his father and mother were not hooking up, although Marty ended up correcting that. Now we've got the Save the Clock Tower flyer. They were getting ready to take down the clock tower, and a woman passed out this flyer, interrupted Marty and Jennifer kissing, saying it was a historical monument and should not be taken down. I remember Jennifer wrote down her phone number on the back of the flyer, and then it cued the power of love. Now let's check out his guitar. This is a black guitar. Marty had three different guitars throughout the film. A yellow guitar in the opening when he blew out Doc's speakers. Then a black guitar when his band was auditioning. And I believe he had a red guitar at the end of the film playing Johnny Be Good. This thing has a red strap made of a soft material. Black guitar. Silver wires. It looks pretty good. Here it is, next to the guitar that the standard Marty came with. And then here's Marty, get ready to play the guitar. And these two hands work perfect with Marty playing the guitar. Now that we've taken a pretty good look at both the figure and his accessories, now let's check out his height. From bottom to top, he's sitting at about 6.4 inches tall, which is going to translate to a little bit over 16 centimeters. Now let's check out his articulation. Starting with his head here. Of course, it can rotate from side to side. He can look up and down about that much. can tilt his head from one side to the other, giving him a nice amount of personality. Shoulders on a ball joint can go about 90 degrees, up, down, around, all that good stuff. does have double jointed elbows here. Here's the top part going in, and then the bottom part going in. It does have rotation at both the top and at the bottom. His wrist can rotate around and it's hinged as well. His torso here, his shirt is sort of a soft goods material. You can see me poking it in. He can kind of have some articulation inside of there, but it just bounces back into place. Essentially, it's pretty useless. It acts as one solid piece as far as I'm concerned. Legs go out about this far. Ball joints, they go forward about that far back, not too much, and they can rotate against the ball there. Single jointed knees go in about this far, and there's a rotation as well. And his ankles here, they can go up and down, and they can tilt and rock as well. Here's Marty trying out at the Battle of the Bands. And here he is in shock, checking out his translucent hand. And here he is in a full action figure band, because why not? Now let's check him out compared to some other action figures, starting off with some other Back to the Future figures. Here he is next to what I consider to be the main Marty McFly from the Back to the Future series. This audition Marty is the exact same figure, minus a life preserver jacket. And here he is next to all the different Marty McFlys they've made so far, and I'm sure there are plenty more to come. And here he is, next to NECA's entire Back to the Future line so far. And the next figure they've teased is the Future Doc. And now let's check him out, next to some action figures from different various companies, to see how he fits in both scale and style-wise, in case you want to know which lines you can mix him with. Here he is, with some of his NECA brothers, in front of you are five different action figure lines, all from NECA toys, all 7-inch scale. And here he is, next to some DST, or Diamond Select toys, then, here he is, next to some McFarlane toys. And here, next to some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures. Then, next to some Mattel wrestling figures. And here he is, next to some Mezco 112th cloth soft goods action figures. Then, next to some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And here he is, next to some Mafex figures. Then, Next to some Hasbro, Marvel Legends. And here he is, next to some SH Figure Arts action figures. And finally, 
here he is next to some Jasper's Fortnite figures. So overall, this is a really cool figure. His likeness, paint job, and sculpt are excellent. His accessories are really good as well. Although some of the accessories, like the translucent hand, are a little mixed match with his version of Marty. His articulation could be a little bit better, especially in the torso area. Anything under the soft goods overlay is pretty much useless. Overall, if I rate this figure, I'd give him a very strong 8 out of 10. He's not my favorite version of Marty McFly, but as far as an action figure in general, I think I like him better than the Life Preserver version. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will talk to you guys real soon.